Alright. Hi everyone. I hope everyone had a great weekend. If you are in the US to celebrate Thanksgiving. Just want to say happy Thanksgiving. And I hope you had, you know, a good day and lots of yummy food and family. So I jumped down the rabbit hole and I bought a diamond painting. This one was ten dollars on Amazon. And it's of the Lady and the Tramp from the Disney movie. And when it's all done, I'm going to put a frame on it and hang it up in my daughter's room. Because she absolutely loves Lady and the Tramp. We've watched the live action and the cartoon probably twice a day for the last month. Me and my husband were watching the new It. And I did this. Oh, it took me about three hours to do what you see here. And this is not all done, just parts of it. So it's very <laughs> time consuming and it definitely needs to be something you enjoy. I had originally bought a couple from Diamond Art Club and one of them was um, by Hannah Lynn, but I changed my mind and canceled it because they are very expensive. And I wanted to make sure I liked it first. And this is what it comes with. It comes with little labels. At least I think that's what they are. That's what I'm using them for. And then this is how the diamonds come. In a long strip. And they're all labeled and separated. And you use the code on here. Like this one says 13 right here. So you come over here, it says 13, and that would be the letter E. So all the letter E's on here are this color. And then all these little sections are perforated, but they don't tear. I tried and tried and tried, and I didn't want to rip them open and have little beads everywhere. So I just cut them. And then for the ones I started with, it came with, what, one, two, seven little baggies. So I labeled them and then put the little beads inside of it. It also comes with this thing. A little stylus doohickey and a little tray. So what you do is you pour some of the beads out and then you take this wax and you go like that so it gets sticky and then it, it adheres to the bead and them up like that just one at a time then dab it on the thing pick it up dab it on the thing so, yeah it's very time consuming um if you have um you know really bad back problems back pain or head or neck issues it's probably not the best thing for you to have unless you just do little parts at a time um, I did it for three hours and I was done and my neck was really stiff and I had a headache and you know my shoulders were hurting so just definitely be aware of that when you purchase one all right and then I got three books Desert Muse by Carla Megaya Megaya Carla Megaya the N has a little squiggly doohickey above it so I don't think it's Megana Megana I don't know I do not know how to pronounce that if you know feel free to let me know and then um Serene Serenaia book one by Christina McAllister and I have a friend who I met through the channel and she said she absolutely loves this artist and she has I'm like, pretty sure all of her books um, so I thought I'd get a couple and I just want to tell everyone if there's any kids watching or parents that there are some images in this book that have a little bit of nudity and some of our, I guess, what's the word, risque. Um, so just be aware of that if you're looking at this for, to purchase for your child or for yourself and you don't like that kind of thing, you just need to be aware of that. Here is, oh, and before I get started on that, I wanted to show you guys the sizes. So, the Christina McAllister one is like your typical create space size book, you know, like the Hannah Lynn ones or any other 
create space book. And then desert, or sorry, dark garden is, you know, probably an inch shorter and then half an inch um, smaller width-wise. And then desert muse is another inch from that one in the same height. So desert muse is definitely a really small book. All right. Like I said, some of the pictures have a little bit of nudity. And it's not too much. I guess it just depends on your taste and what you're comfortable with and whether or not you have children that will be coloring in it. And she also has PDFs of these if you're more interested in that. And they are very different. Um, I would say abstract in a way. Um, you know, the bodies are disproportioned and there's kind of crazy hair, flowers and things going on. And that is my clock going off. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I'm just going to flip through while that goes. is on the cover. For me this feels like a marker book. I feel like I could do the hair like three different colors and do you know like a pattern in the hair because they're in chunks and then shade with pencils. And the um, paper, I almost want to say it's not regular create space paper. I almost want to say it's worse. Um, it feels like copy paper completely. It doesn't have as much texture as Create Space, and it's not as thick. Not that Create Space paper's thick, but this seems even thinner. So the style of these books is there's about two or three portraits or full body images, and then you have like a picture of some flowers or cactuses or something. different you know it, it may or may not be for you I think they are cute and I like how they're different changes it up a little bit is called Dark Garden. This one is a little bit bigger that way. Both about the same thickness, I think. Yeah. Pretty much the same. The cover. Yes. That is the cover image. It's the first page. I like it. It's going to be a fun one. I like this one too. And this one. This one's got some skulls and like little potion bottles so you can practice coloring glass. And this book also has a little bit of um, 
you know, nudity or risque images. So just be aware of that. I like this one too. It's really pretty. And that one. I think I like this one better than Desert Muse. And this is kind of what I was talking about with the, you know, risque images. She's got something covering up her parts and has kind of fishnet legging things on. So, yeah. It's not too revealing, but it just may or may not be for some people. You know, in my own opinion, probably what I, I personally will do when it comes to coloring this, because I love this picture. I like the way she's standing and her the long hair and the flowers behind her and the skulls and stuff. I will probably take a fine liner and kind of... No, not those. Those are all gone. And uh, probably like create a shirt that goes with this. I'll probably like extend the uh, like corset looking line up here and kind of draw it in. And that's just me personally because I don't really care to color that. So, yeah. Some mushrooms and schools. I definitely think I like um, Dark Garden better. I don't know why. I just do. Is it weird that the first thing that came to my mind when I saw this picture just now was Corella DeVille? <laughs> I don't know why. That's interesting. All right, honey, hang on. single sided in both books so that's awesome that's always nice to have all right and this book I definitely say is my favorite of the three this one is by Christina McAllister and it says book one I before I did this video I meant to look and see if there was a book two yet or if it was something that was getting worked on so yeah just the cover. I love it. <laughs> I just love the style of it. I love the bright colors. And the cover's weird. Like, these ones are, like, slick. Like, if you have any handle in books or, um, like, Heather Valentine. Any of them. They're just, they're glossy. This one is matte. And it feels odd. Like, it almost feels like there's something that I could, like, scrape off. Like, it's soft. <laughs> It's, it's strange. I don't know what it is. I like it. I do like it, though. I'm just saying it's different. Okay. There is the first page, which is the cover. And there's a little note from the artist. And then on the back of each cage... On the back of each page, you have, like, it's grayed out and has some leaves on it. It looks like a watercolor type thing. But it's just black and white, just there, so there's something on the back of the pages. There is not one page in this book that I am not excited to color. Um, I've heard of this artist a few times every now and then. I think she might actually be in some of the coloring groups I'm in. But I just... I don't know, it's just, just not a book that I ever looked at, but I absolutely love it. I love how she draws her faces. Let's see. Okay, yeah, you can see it. It's just, I don't know. It's like an elf style, like elf, um, I don't know. <laughs> like fantasy. They're so cute. Like these little flying squirrel things. And the little girl with, I was going to say an umbrella, but I don't think it's an umbrella. It's more like a, like a parachute. It has things that are attached to her. 
this adorable dinosaur dragon thing <laughs> with a girl in the middle of it holding the babies. And I think this is supposed to be a male character, which I don't usually like to color, but look at it. It's so cute. <laughs> Little seahorse dragon thing. This is one of my favorites. I love it. I think I have a new favorite book for right now. <laughs> I'm definitely going to look into her other books now. Oh, this book's bigger, so I hope I have everything on the screen. It's bigger than the other two. I love this picture. Look at the eyes. They're like shaped. They got that cat eye shape. And then she's got elf ears. Just very fantasy and whimsical. They're just adorable. I love the cat thing. Oh, I didn't see this one before. That's cool. It's different. And I guess you could consider it grayscale. Um, it's not very heavily shaded, but it is shading a little bit. Oh my goodness, I just noticed the cute little birds up there. Ooh, I might have to color this one. I feel like these should be bird feathers, like colored like a parrot. Lizard. definitely going to be one that I think I'll scan the pictures in in case I want to color them more than once because I love it. Oh, this is the cover image that's also right here. I'm really glad that there's another one in here that's not one that has all this on there. I love her style. These are absolutely gorgeous. Good job, Emma. Okay. 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 Mom. What? Owie. Is that Owie? Mm-hmm. Bo. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'll check on it in a second, okay? <laughs> No. Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Hang on, baby girl. Okay. Sorry about that. So, yeah, this one is just another really pretty one. I love the style. Of, I love how she draws her faces. I love how she shades the pictures. And this is just awesome. I love this book. I wish I would have found this a long time ago. Ooh, looks like there's a printing issue on that page, though. There's a white line that goes all the way down the page. I don't know if that happens on all of them. You really can't see it. And by the time I color it all over everything, it won't even be able to see it. That's gorgeous, though. I love their noses. I love the eyes, their lips. Just, ah! I love this book. I'm super excited about this one. I really wish I would have found this sooner. The little baby, like, duck creatures, swan things. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. It reminds me, well, this picture reminds me of that movie. I don't know if it's Disney or not. It's a kid movie. It's called The Guardians. And it has, like, Jack Frost and Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny. That movie. Um... This reminds me of the Tooth Fairy, the face. Yep, that's gonna be one of my favorites. And it reminds me of like Avatar, like with all the crazy, cool, awesome animals and 
the different plant life and the way their faces are like different than a person. This is just an amazing book. Okay, hang on. All right, baby girl, hang on. I don't even know what the thing is, but it's awesome. <laughs> I don't like to color fur, but I'm going to have to learn. Oh, I like this one. I love this book, can you tell? This might be one of my favorites by far. These are like jellyfish creature things. They got like little jellyfish looking things. So maybe she's like an underwater. I don't know, maybe not. There's wind right here. So maybe they fly. Flying jellyfish. That's pretty too. So cute. And that is the last one. And here's her other books. She has Mystical Beings, Goddess Nature, Cat Spirits, and Magical Beauties. And then, yeah, that is it. Cover. It's so weird. It's almost like velvety. It's such an odd cover. I do, I like it though. It's cool. So, yeah, there's just a couple thumbnails of her pictures. And that is that. So, I hope you enjoyed um, seeing flip throughs of all these new books that I got for Christmas. For early Christmas. <laughs> Oh, alrighty. I hope everyone has an awesome rest of their day and I'll